Welcome to our weekly investment update. It's Thursday the 9th of April 2020. Uh, my name is Chris Marshall, Head of Investment Strategy at Dragon Investment Managers and also one of the members of the 75.3 Investment Committee. We started putting together these short weekly videos really to give our clients and other interested parties a little bit of insight into some of the financial and economic data uh, going on around us at this time as well as to give our views on how our portfolios and investment strategies have been running. Over the past week or so unfortunately we have seen a large increase in the total confirmed cases of coronavirus. Uh, last week we were looking at around 1 million cases globally, we're now at about 1.5 million with around 88,000 deaths around the world. New York, UK and Belgium have all recently posted uh, the, their deadliest days so far. But equity markets, when we turn our attention there, they are forward looking uh, in their approach. And they're really looking past these uh, data points to the future and hoping to see very soon the peak uh, in cases globally. When we look at this, this has uh, sparked quite a lot of optimism in the markets. We've seen uh, in the US markets, the S&P 500 put on about 22% uh, since those March 23rd lows. And in the UK, FTSE 100 has increased about 13% from those lows as well. The economic data is uh, unsurprisingly and unprecedentedly bad, uh, but the market does is expecting this. Uh, we're also expecting some worse economic data to come out over the next few weeks and months. And this is all really quite expected and priced in because it's a, a direct result of, of governments trying to retard the growth of coronavirus really by curtailing social and economic activity. The unsurprising consensus is that we went into a recession at the beginning of March. Uh, the euro area uh, is in a, in a slump of unprecedented scale and also in the US we've seen historically high uh, initial jobless claims with around 10 million being posted over the past two weeks and another 5 million or so expected to be added this week alone. To offset this, these economic uh, worries and the, these economic data points, we have seen lawmakers and central banks really work in a very coordinated fashion and come through with a massive wave of money, uh, all aiming to try and make sure that this economic crisis doesn't spill over into be a, a financial crisis. And to do that, really, they're trying to make sure that they keep down the, the level of bankruptcies as well as the level of mass long-term unemployment so that when coronavirus worries are out of the way, the economy can bounce back, hopefully, in a, in a strong fashion. Well, we're certainly in a, a, a deep recession, uh, these fiscal and monetary measures that we have seen come through will, will certainly soften the blow and uh, markets again are taking quite a, a high level of optimism from this. When we turn our attention now to the styles of investments that we run here at 75.3, uh, in the lower end of the risk spectrum we, we run with profits and smooth funds. Uh, these have performed as we'd expected in these in these times, softening the volatility, softening the downside risks to our clients. Uh, some of them have posted what we would call market value reductions or market value adjustments. Uh, these are really mechanisms that when there are steep sell-offs in markets, that those clients looking to stay in the funds for long term aren't disadvantaged by people uh, simply pulling their money out in the short term. What we've seen in past down cycles is that these market value reductions and market value adjustments are removed uh, once markets really rebound and we turn to some sort of normality again on the other side. For with profits clients, uh, there's, a, there's an added uh, mechanism for many, which would be reversionary bonuses. And, and what we find with those is, of course, that once they're added, they can't be taken away and this providing a, a, another level of certainty for the lower end of the risk spectrum. As we progress up the risk spectrum, we, we then come to our multi-asset uh, funds, which run from levels 3 to 7 on a scale of 1 to 10. And these really try and provide our clients with a very, very broad level of diversification across seven different fund houses, as well as splitting up those assets into pockets of, of equities, of fixed income, cash and property. And these again have softened that downside uh, blow that we saw in the broad equity markets. Uh, as well as suppress volatility uh, on a day-to-day -day and a week-by-week -week basis for 
you know, clients invested in those styles. The final style, the third style, is of course the outsourcing to discretionary fund managers. So we use a handful of uh, nationwide DFMs, including Dragon Investment Managers, where I work. Uh, and, and again, we have seen sell-offs reduced both through the, the way that they have uh, split up their portfolios, the portfolio construction, this spectrum of different assets split between property, uh, equities, cash, and uh, fixed income, uh, offsetting and diversifying clients' portfolios very well. And also seeing some tactical moves from a lot of the DFMs uh, to, to really soften the downside risk as well as prepare clients' portfolios for potential upsides. So overall, we feel that our portfolios are very well placed. We continue to watch the economic and financial data uh, on a day-by-day -day basis and also translate that into how we see our portfolios running for clients. So that's been our weekly investment update for Thursday, the 9th of April. My name is Chris Marshall. Uh, from all of us at 75.3, we wish you a very good week ahead.